festive season, those who are unfortunate and can't afford accommodation or hot food, we are providing them hot dinner. And uh, this program will continue from today, 24th of December, until 1st January 2016. So uh, tonight's event is the soup kitchen and it's one of the first uh, days to, uh, that it's actually started uh, the 24th. Um, we're, we're planning to run this all the way through the 1st of January. Um, and the primary aim is to uh, uh, ensure that the, throughout the Christmas period the most vulnerable, uh, the homeless people, are actually fed. I personally think that it is also of a religious duty because in Quran it says, and our Prophet also tells us, that you should not have full belly of meal if your neighbor is hungry and you should share it. And I think that we should try to tell in this day and age where there's a lot of Islamophobia, we have to tell them that Islam is a peace-loving religion and it also cares about the other community irrespective of the religion. I was um, once homeless when I was very young, yeah. um, when I was living here a long time ago, um, and I have a real passion for homeless and every year I go to London and I always give the homeless um, some money with my children. And this year I wanted to do something a little bit closer to home because I was no I've noticed over the last few months that there are more and more homeless in Birmingham. Um, and I've become quite friendly with, with a couple of them that I've passed on the way to work. Um, and, and I just felt that when I seen it on Facebook that it was at the mosque, it was the place to be really. So I emailed, so I, I sent a message to Kazim and asked if we could both come because Karen's quite passionate about it too. Um, on Tuesday, we went to town. Yeah, well, we went to town on the streets to give out parcels to the homeless clothes and food. Um, it's heartbreaking really to see actually how many people are living on the street and how lucky we really are, to be honest. And that's why when my cousin's in Nice, I thought I haven't been involved in the soup kitchen before, so I thought I'd get involved in this. Actually, we are proud to offer this service from Central Boss because we know that there are people who are you know, needy, really, you know, they need food, they need some basic necessities, and we are part of this community, and we offer, and we are privileged that a lot of people are here in the most premises. We have been running a food bank for the last few years, and, but a food bank is basically a dry food, and if people haven't got the facility to cook it, this is the best idea, especially in this festive season. At the moment, the situation is we have only planted for these eight days and uh, then we will obviously go back to our food bank. But we are thinking to set up some sort of system so that we can give people some hard food at least once a week or twice a week. Personally, myself, um, I've got involved in it purely because of the fact that um, um, I wanted to put something in the community as a business uh, entrepreneur within the Birmingham uh, uh, city, uh, it's a wonderful city, and I think as, as uh, the, the other aspect of it obviously is um, the fact that as Muslims we need to uh, show a much better image for the for the whole rest of the country um, and build that unity within uh, our community itself. Um, we got contacted by St. Birmingham Central mm -hmm. Mosque and uh, they asked us they needed some support with volunteers and obviously financial funding as well. And as the community outreach, we are supporting other community organisations which are you know, bringing community cohesion um, and obviously supporting the needs of the community. And we know there's a massive uh, homeless, homelessness in, in Birmingham um, and there's also uh, an increase in poverty as well. So by doing things like this, it obviously shows us. Uh, community spirit um, and it's a chance for us to obviously get involved as well. So we support anything that's really positive in the community. Oh, we brought um, biscuits, sweets, sanitary items for ladies, cars, cars, clothes for wipes, men and women. deodorant, clothes. People have been donating to us for weeks and weeks. And that's weeks. what we took up to town on Tuesday, yeah. similar with female bags, male bags 
thermals, hats, scarves, um, baby wipes, deodorant, all that kind of stuff. Being one of the, um, I, I, how should I put it, being one of the um, um, niche market uh, entrepreneurs, um, I was invited to actually sponsor this event. Um, I was I was made aware of sorry this event, and I decided to sponsor this because it's a great cause um, that, that this is actually um, going forward to. I feel very nice today. That's great. So yeah, I, I didn't have anything to eat, but when I came here, I had something to eat. So this was your first meal today? At yeah, yeah. And this was the first meal today. No, no, we intend to do it every week rather than I mean, the year thing. Okay. So we intend to do it at least three days a week from, you know, February onwards. From February onwards regularly? But definitely annual event will still be there, but we'll be doing, you know, weekly as well. That's great, thank you very much.